Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have just found one of the worst games of 2013 and probably one of the worst games of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Fast and Furious Showdown, but they should have renamed this game to Fast and Shit because that's exactly what it is. And I'm going to go ahead and press X and I'm going to show you what the shit really is. Alright, so we're playing this game. We're playing Fast and Furious Showdown, and as you can see, this game graphically looks like my ass. As you'll notice, the game also has terrible frame rate. This game plays at like 15 frames per second, and it's never constant, it's never consistent. And what the hell is up with this, like, plowing into other cars? Like, what is this game trying to do? And I can hit the triangle button right now, and I can switch to the gunner. And as you can see, when I shoot the ground, there's nothing coming out. There's no, there's just nothing. It's like I'm not shooting anything. Look at this. There's no sparks. There's just nothing, nothing. And the sounds from the gun look and sound like shit as well. And if, ladies and gentlemen, for whatever reason I fail this mission and I go ahead and hit restart, it will restart me. But the thing is, you have to watch this over and over and over again. There is literally nothing else you could do. You can press every single button on this goddamn PlayStation 3 controller, but it's not going to do a thing. You can press start and there's no option to skip it. So every time you fail this piece of shit because the controls are so fucking terrible, you have to watch this bullshit every single fucking time. Holy shit! What in the shit is going on? Look in front of me. There's apparently a cop up there, but I don't see any car. I see lights, but I don't see any car. Why are there floating lights just going around? This game makes literally no sense at times. There's just so much bullshit. Look at this traffic jam up here. The cops are making more havoc, causing more havoc than what I'm even doing. And look, there's more cop, cop lights just floating in the air. Look at this. Where are the cops at? The cops are nowhere to be found. They're behind me. They're not in front of me. What the hell is this game doing? Look at this. The cop lights are just floating everywhere. Look at this cutscene here. This looks like complete garbage. And you know, it would have been fine had it been a PS2 game or an original Xbox 360 game. But ladies and gentlemen, it is 2013, and I don't know if the developers are aware of that, but holy shit, this looks like complete garbage. Alright, so I'm playing the mission where you take the vault and uh, you have to evade the cops successfully. Now the thing about this mission is because this game is so fucking wacky is you can just literally plow into other vehicles and they will fly like 20 feet into the air. Let me demonstrate. That's not a good demonstration, but I will show you. And now I gotta look for my opponent. And look at that! The tree's following us! The tree is following us! Holy shit! You can literally destroy the fucking level in this game! What is this, full auto? It's like the developers were making some other game, and they're like, Oh, you guys gotta make a Fast and the Furious game. Quick, make it happen. It really does feel like that. It doesn't even feel like this is a fucking racing game, because look at this shit. I can just plow through vehicles, through a fucking bus. A bus weighs like two tons. How the hell can a Dodge Charger with a fucking vault behind it plow through vehicles like that? This game is fucking stupid. It's so dumb. It controls like shit. It plays like shit. It feels like shit. Guess what? It is shit. And the thing is, I rented this game for three fucking dollars. Three dollars. And this was the last copy. This was the last copy. That means that other people are wasting their money on this bullshit. Please, waste your money on something else. But do not waste it on this product. Go see the movie because, ladies and gentlemen, they're asking 50 bucks for this. And even at that price, that's not the, you know, regular MSRP, but bullshit. They're asking 50 bucks. That's a ripoff. This is an iPhone game at the best. And even at that, I don't even know. Another thing that you'll notice here is that I completed all of these levels in literally under one hour. And I am plowing through the game. That means that this game is very, very short. Now, is this a $15 Xbox Live Arcade game or PlayStation Network game? No, it's not. Wow, the car customization is so fucking deep and robust, I cannot believe it. Holy shit. I am literally just blown away. I can't fathom. I'm fucking stupefied right now. What the hell this game is even showing me? Ha ha ha! Oh, he just, he just tore off the fucking highways. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Please do not play this game. Please do not play this game.